Hey guys, the objective of this video is to discuss the shear box test and then we're going to do an example to find the friction angle for undrained and the coefficient for an undrained test. So, the shear box test. The way it works, just very simply, I'm not going to go into the specifics, is we have two boxes which are aligned one on top of each other and we have our sample of soil inside these boxes. And what we do is, is we come to our boxes and we apply a normal stress, so that would be a force, but because it's acting over an area, it's a normal stress, and we apply a shear stress. And what happens is, is that this box will slide, <clears throat> so this lower box will slide this way, and this way, so they'll slide past each other, causing shear stress and normal stress inside our box. So what happens if the shear box test is, is we have a predetermined predetermined failure plane. So we've decided that the failure plane we're looking at is this plane here. So that's the plane it fails on, which is different to the triaxial test, which you're going to start discuss in a bit. But for a shear box test, we have two boxes which are aligned. We apply a shear stress and we pull it, which creates a shear stress. As they slide past each other, the soil will eventually fail, and that'll tell us the, the normal and shear stress at which it fails at. So if we were to draw a small graph showing this, we would have the strain against the